and welcome to part 19 of the Staines Massive Challenge. This is season 3, we're back in the Conference South and if you've missed any of the last episodes, we won the Conference South in the first season, got relegated from the National League in the second season, so I didn't have players that suit the tactic I'm playing with. I'm playing the plug and play tactic, the NAP 343 Argus from the SI Community Forums. Not changing anything, last season I was mucking around with the mentality, control or counter, I'm staying on attacking as per the original tactic. I'm back in the conference south. I've been told in order to keep my job, I have to get 10 points from the first five games. As you can see, we've won three on the spin. We're on nine points and we're, we're one point away from hopefully me keeping my job. Now, there's been some real, real developments within this club. As far as transfers are concerned, huge number. What I've done is I've gone to the Premier League clubs. I'm looking to bring some of their youth players that have been released on trial just to see how they go. Anybody with five-star potential, I'm signing. And I've signed a hell of a lot of players. We've signed Dan Parsons Heller. Defender, he can play centre-back or right-back. Three-star accountability, five-star potential. He's actually straight in my first-team squad as a backup centre-half. That's Parsons Heller. Shane Mitchell's in the under-23s. He's a midfielder. He can play as a, as a hopefully as a box to box. He's two and a half star potential, five star ability. He's come in from Aston Villa. Uh, Dan Parsons Heller, sorry, had come in from Villa as well. Uh, Shane Mitchell's come in uh, again, deep line playmaker. He can also play box to box. He's two and a half star potential, five star. He's from Aston Villa. Joe Whitehead's come in. He can be a poacher on advance forward. He's one half star ability. He's on four star potential. He's come in from Southampton. Nand Kilil. I can't even say his bloody surname. So I'm just. His name's Rob. Rob has come in. Central midfielder. He's straight in the first team squad. He's got three star ability, five star potential. He's come in from Bournemouth. But if you look, he's already fourth in the list of midfielders that I've got options for. He's straight in and he's very well suited to the Van Armour South football. Rob's come in. Dan Asamoah's come in in the under 23s. One and a half star current ability, three and a half star potential. He's come in from Stoke. Dominic Brown's been signed. He's 18 year old centre defender, one star ability. He's on four and a half star potential. He's come in from Leicester. All these players are on either £90 a week or £45 a week. Stephen Tomasco has come in, defender. He can play as a centre back. Um, he's on one star ability, he's on three and a half star potential, £65 a week. He's come in from West Brom. Maurizio Marangon has come in, he's a defensive fullback on the left hand side, he can play as a wing back. He's two star ability, he's four star potential. He's come in from Tottenham. Scott McManus has come in, he's a fullback again on the right hand side. Two star ability, five star potential. He's come in from Arsenal. Shane Ford has come in. He's an 18-year-old defender. Um, he's on two-star ability, five-star potential, £65 a week, and he's from Stoke. Bismarck Donkar has come in. He's a defensive forward, one-and-a-half-star ability, sorry. Four-star potential, £65 a week from Villa. Glenn Coulton has come in. He's one-and-a-half-star ability, four-star potential. He's coming from Tottenham. Alan Caddis has come in as a ball-winning midfielder. Um, he's two star ability, four star potential, and he's coming on £60 a week from Bournemouth. Tom Clark has come in as, as a central midfielder, one star ability, four and a half star potential, £60 a week from Palace. Cole Murphy has come in, he's on the right hand side as a wing back, two star ability, five star potential, £45 a week from Tottenham. Again, these players are going to come in, a lot of these will be released, they're on one year contracts. If there's anybody that I can pick up that turns out to be decent, they're going to stay. Sean Sweeney has come in and he's straight into my first team squad straight away. He is a right hand sided fullback but can play as a wing back. He's on three star ability, five star potential, £45 a week from Chelsea. He's come straight in. Ibrahim Moussa is in, another wing back. Um, he's one and a half star ability, he's on five star potential. He's on £45 a week for Wolves. Phil Smith has come in as a wing-back on the left-hand side. He's two-star ability, five-star potential. You get the drift, £45 a week. He's come in from 
Wolves as well. Phil Smith. Joe Thompson, Tompkins has come in straight into my first team squad. This guy is 18. He's an advanced forward. £55 a week. Two and a half star ability. Five star potential. He's come in from Watford. And if you can see, he's just played his first game and he's scored. Oh no, sorry. He made two assists. He got man of the match and a 9.0 rating. He's in straight in the first team squad. Charlie Timpson's come in. Central defender. He's on one and a half star ability, four and a half star potential, £60 a week, and he's from Crystal Palace. Ricky Farrell, bear with me, we're getting there. He's come in. He's on two star current ability, four and a half star potential, £80 a week. He's come in and he's in from Watford. Paul Thompson's come in. He's defensive fullback on the right. He can play as a wing back, one and a half star ability, three and a half star potential, £45 a week from Palace. Josh Brennan has come in, central defender. He's come in, he's on one and a half star ability, five star potential, £45 a week, and he's in from Leicester. I love this guy's name. Precocious Ali has come in. He's a poacher. He is 19 years old. He's on £275 a week, so he's straight in the first team squad. He's on two and a half star ability, five star potential. He's come in via Maidenhead from Crystal Palace. Leon Callahan's come in. He's a shadow striker, but can also play as either a forward or a midfielder. One and a half star ability, four and a half star potential. He's 18, £45 a week, and he's from Palace. Peter Smith has come in. He's a wing back on the left hand side. Two star ability, five star potential, £55 a week from West Ham. Tommy Kelly has come in. Defensive forward, but can play as a poacher, hopefully. Or an advanced forward once he develops. £55 a week. He's 18. Two star ability. Five star potential. He's come in from Chelsea. Phil Core has just been signed. Defensive forward. But he can also play hopefully as a poacher. Or an advanced forward if he can develop into that. One and a half star ability. Four star potential. £65 a week from West Brom. We're getting there. Ryan Jones has come in. Ball winning midfielder. He's on two and a half star ability, five star potential, £45 a week from Leicester. Grant McLean has come in. He's a deep line forward or a poacher. He's got great stats and I can see him working his way into the first team squad this season. Two star ability, five star potential, £65 a week from West Ham. Nick Bostock has signed. He is a ball winning midfielder. One and a half star ability, four star potentials, £45 a week and he's in from Palace. Chris Lloyd has signed, another central midfielder, one and a half star ability, he's five star potential, £45 a week from Watford. Dean Kirby has signed, he's a central defender, two star ability, five star potential, £45 a week, he's signed from Bournemouth. Dean Kidby I should say, and finally Jamie Suttleworth has just signed, he is a ball winning midfielder, he's two and a half star ability, five star potential. £65 a week from Stoke. As far as the finances are concerned, we are way over the wage budget by 2000 Hopefully, I can get rid of the likes of Hatton. I can get rid of the, the, the players in the under-23s that don't want to be playing here. So we're looking at the likes of Bembo. Bembo's on £425 a week. Goodman is on £350 a week. Um, Quilter... Is on £230 a week and Sam Hatton is on £375 a week. That's about £1,300 worth. Hopefully we can get rid of those players. Let's move in. We're playing Bath away as our next game. As you see in the schedule, we've won all three games. 2-1 in the first episode. Follow that with a 5-0 win over Gosport. And we've just beaten Murphy 3-1 at home. I need one point from this game to guarantee my job. Let's move forward into the game. Here we go then, some changes to the team. We've got Grandeur in goal, Cordner, Hickford and Staunton as my centre-backs. Jefford and Sweeney are my right back. Sweeney's going to get a go, Sean Sweeney, the guy that signed this season. He's only 18, he's got decent stats, we're going to give him a go, see how he gets on. Um, in the midfield, Sam Bow is the ball winning midfielder with Miller Rodney, who's been outstanding since he's come into the team. He's, got two, he's played two games, two goals, one assist, he's on an 8.50 rating. 
And up front is Tompkins, Precocious Alley and Ben Mills. Hopefully, we can get all three and extend our unbeaten run. We need to win this game, or at least just get the point that guarantees my job. Slow start so far, 15 minutes in, but that's not too bad. So a lot of these players are learning the tactics. Sweeney has just come in has made a mistake and it's cost us a goal. He made a mistake there, he should have cleared the ball. He tried to, to dilly-dally with the ball and unfortunately it's cost us. Not a good start to his uh, massive career, the youngster. This is my fourth game and I need one point to keep the board satisfied. So far every week the board is coming up that the board is dissatisfied with me and I'm under pressure still despite three out of three wins. This is not a good half on the massive so far. Bath are playing well. They've got another highlight. Shoots well over the bar. Lucky enough for us. Yeah, we need to play better than this. Ali's not doing great. Tompkins and Ali up front are not good. Miller Rodney's not doing much in midfield today. And Mills, Mills is through. Keeper saves. Right, let's make three changes. Can't afford to hang around. So, Jaden Harris is coming on for Miller Rodney, who's not having a good game. Kane's going to replace Sweeney, who, unlucky for him, made that mistake. Elliot Buchanan will come on. Tompkins that's the three changes let's see if we can get an early goal here if we can 50 minutes in just two shots one on target for us right here we go Cordner Sandbell Jefford Buchanan who's on Ali Mills Mills scores there you go excellent move from left to right first time passing opens them up it's exactly what we're looking for. Cordner to Sambao to Jefford to Buchanan. Steps inside. Ali first time to Mills. Mills is free. Scores. Ben Mills, great goal. Staunton, the centre half, not doing great. He's on a 6.4. He's playing on the right side. And Jefford, the wing back's on a 6.5. Let's not concede. Let's try and close the cross down. Stop the ball into the box. Well done, we've done it. Ali, unlucky. We need to win that ball back. Win the ball. Get rid of that. No, don't head it back inside. Get rid of that ball. Stop that cross. Hold firm. No. They've scored on the back post. You could see it coming. With a number of opportunities to get this ball away and it didn't happen back post off the defender and he scores it's 2-0 two 2-1 two sorry for Bath we need a reaction last 20 minutes 10 to go we've made our changes yeah the right side is sent off Staunton had a shocker there I think he was the one that was caught for the goal he's dropped to 6.2 Jefford looking for Buchanan but the ball's too long can we win the ball back high ok it's come to Cord now brings it down to Hickford Hickford gives it away picks it up Harris Kane looking for a ball over the top doesn't make anything they're going to play a ball in here they're on to us again can we stop the cross no Staunton, no, doesn't deal with it. Half cleared. Goalkeepers, oh my days. <laughs> oh dear me. He, I don't, what has he done here? He's, he just, the fullback has just lumped the ball. And Granger, I think he thinks he's going over. And it hits the crossbar, it hits him on the back and goes in. My word. 3-1. We're stuck on nine points. It's all on this fifth game. Oh, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. 
Three one away. That's not a good performance or a good result at all. Pressure's back on us. Okay, here we go. This is the next game. So we are playing Wildstone at home. I need a point at least to keep the board happy, but three points would be nice. Changes again. So Granger's in goal. Parsons Heller comes in, a sign in from the summer. Uh, he comes in, one of the youngsters. He looks like he's okay. He's going to come in and play as a left sided centre half with Hickford and Staunton. Jefford is a left wing back. Wussy's back in. Ivan Wussy, who played the first game, he's in as the right wing back. Sambao and Harris are in as the midfielders. Tompkins, Bembo, Luke Bembo from the reserves is in as a poacher with Ben Mills up front. It's all or nothing for me. Here we go on attacking. We're playing Wildstone, who find themselves seventh. They've got nine points from four games, the same as us. Right, what can we do? We need we need to win. Through to Bembo. Goalkeeper saves it. Mills was looking to, to pounce, but Bembo took priority. Was he inside? No, we've lost the ball. Hickford wins it back. Bembo. Goalkeeper saves it. That's two chances we've had. Two clear-cut chances, and the goalkeeper saved both of them. After 15 minutes, Mills to Wasi. Fouled. Got ourselves a free kick out wide. Harris is going to take it. Harris. Ball comes in. No, Staunton picks the ball up. Back to Harris. Harris to Sambao. Mills. Mills scores. One new up. Oh, no, he's offside. Ben Mills is offside. Can we deal with this ball? No, we've given a penalty away, which is not good at all. It's not ideal. Oh, no. Granger saves it. Granger steps up when I need him to. We're on the we're on the ten points that we've been asked to get so far from five games, but I know we've got a good enough team that can go on and win this game. Bembo's on a six point three. I've got defence and I've got fullbacks that are not fit. Right, let's go. Same as it is. It's 581 of the massive here. I say 581 of the massive. It's actually 301 away fans. They've got more away fans than we've got home fans, which says a lot for the state of the club after last season. Okay, Jefford, ball over the top to Mills. Mills is in. Mills, goalkeeper saves again. Again, he saves from Mills. That's two chances he's had this game. They deal with the corner. They clear it and pick up the second ball. I need to make some changes. Bembo's not playing well. Precocious Ali's coming on up front as a poacher. Right, so Rob. What can Rob do? Passing 12. Free kick taking determination. Rob's going to come on for me. And he's coming on for Jaden Harris and Kane for Sambao. They've both got booked. Three early, early, early changes, I know, but I'm making them. Need a little bit more inspiration. We've, we've got the point that we need for safety in the job, hopefully, but I could do with having three here to push us up to 12 points. We need a win. Our shot count is now climbing. We're on 59, 58% possession. Nine shots, four on target compared to their six and three. Oh, let me do it right. Come on. Mills, Tompkins. Swap sides. Last 15. Let's see what happens. We have an attack. Jefford, Mills is on that other side. Tompkins. We've got a penalty. Tompkins was fouled. Who's going to take it? Kane's going to take it. He's at the post. Tompkins follows up and scores. I don't know why the penalty takers stood still there. Do you see that? You watch. Hits the post. Doesn't react. Tompkins follows up and scores. That gives me the 12 points. That gives me 12 points from five games. Two points more than I was asked to get. Hopefully, 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 
I'll keep my job. We shall see. You never know in this game. Tompkins has only got his second. He switched sides, got his two goals. That pushes us up to third place on 12 points. It is a great finish, to be fair. First time. That's the result we were looking for. That's a big win for us over a side that on the same points as us coming into the game. Tompkins, Kane, ball over the top to Precocious Ali, who scores and makes it free. There you go, 3-0. The Precocious one has scored. Tompkins with a header to Rob. Kane over the top. Ali's in behind. 3-0, slots it past the goalkeeper. There we go. 3-0 to the Massive. We should be safe. That should be me in charge now until the end of the season, at least. Fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Okay, we've won the game. Played well. The board are delighted to inform you that following the promise you made to them, they are now satisfied that you've done your utmost to keep it. They are pleased that you delivered on the agreed points total and were particularly impressed that you've exceeded their expectations, notch an impressive 12 points from five games. As a result of the improvements you've made as the manager, the board have cancelled any plans to relieve you of your role. Going forward, the board hope you won't give them reason to regret their decision. I am safe. What more can I say? What better way to end the episode? This has been the Stains Massive Part 19, I think this is now. I'm safe and we can now focus on the season. Just need to get that wage budget down. If you've liked the video, hit that like button on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel for daily football manager content. Thank you very much for watching.